All right, so you guys asked me to figure out who was the judge that actually signed the search warrant for Peanut and Freddy the Raccoon. Here he is, folks. And you're not gonna, you're never gonna believe this. His name is Richie Rich. I'm just, I'm just saying, look at his face. Does that look like that would go with him? The world we live in. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Samantha. I am the owner and operator of a two-acre farmstead here in Southeast Louisiana. And I've been deep diving what happened to Peanut the Squirrel, not because I'm caught up on the fact that they euthanize a squirrel and a raccoon, though that bothers me. I see a bigger picture. I see a picture of the trampling of our constitutional amendment Guys, it is a sacred right. Everybody knows that a man's home is his, ca is his castle. And when law enforcement or environmental police can take any unsubstantiated complaint against someone, especially when it's dealing with the licensure, the licensing of a nonprofit, or a form, or a business, and that is what they use to come bursting into your property without your knowledge, without your permission, and without your consent, then we have a real problem. Because that is one of the most sacred amendments in America, other than your speech and your right to bear arms. Nobody having the right just to burst up in your home is something that we all have enjoyed for years except for the last 10 years. Over the last 10 years, numerous farms, homesteads, and small businesses have been torn apart by these agencies that are out of control. And this is what happens when your country that is a constitutional republic is having birthing pains and being forced into a socialist communist country. Folks, we have to stop the madness. This is so much bigger than the very sad and wrongful death of a squirrel and a coon. But God can use anything, folks, to wake people up. Understand this. Your vote counts. And it matters. Because what happened to Peanut and Freddie could happen to any of us, especially people like me, who homestead and farmstead. They are brazen. The government, the alphabet agents have become brazen in their power to trample on your God-given constitutional rights. And who's going to punish them? Who? So here is the judge. And then there was this person involved. And this person was involved. Yeah, I'm just going to keep doing like this. Just a walk of shame. But see, they don't think they did anything wrong. And by law, let me tell you something. The law is in their favor. How? How have we gotten to a place in America where the laws favor murdering animals? It's going to get worse. You saw it with the um, Amos Miller. The Amish guy. There were some young women who had like an um, organic, unpasteurized milk pro uh, business. They came in and did that to them. I am watching people have their property taken for eminent domain. And the EPA and all of these USDA just coming on their property over the smallest complaints. Smallest complaints. Just like they did for Peanut and this raccoon. It wouldn't shock me if this 311 acres or 31 acres that they're talking about in this, if somebody didn't want that land, if there wasn't something bigger happening here. Don't let this story just slide underneath the door as just somebody said, it's just animals. You know, there's so much more going on in America, but you're missing the point. It isn't just animals. And the day that Americans won't fight for something that cannot fight for itself, we're in serious trouble. So are we there yet? 
Or are we all going to group together and say enough is enough? We're going to take a look at of our, our elected officials, including the role of presidency. And we're going to start putting in people that are going to get the power back to the people. See, the government's supposed to work for you, not the other way around. So you guys wanted to know who these people were. Here it is. You guys have a blessed night. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think.